Hi, this is Frank O'Laughlin, uh, amateur call sign uh, WQNO. I'm the Cape Cod and Islands Aries District Emergency Coordinator. Today we have Jim Levitt, KC1KM, and Dan Howard, K1DYO, my assistant. And today we're at the American Red Cross in Hyannis, and we're practicing sending on a system called email over radio. It's also called WinLink, and it's a means where if we have problems with the Internet and there's not good uh, Internet connection for email, or if it's out during a disaster, we can actually send uh, this system via high frequency to almost any station in the world that can get into the email system and be able to get our messages into that system to their intended uh, station of deliverance. So at this time, we've set it up. We've got a couple of dummy load, uh, we call dummy load uh, units. And what they do is they're going to simulate our antennas so we're not broadcasting all over the world with these simple test messages. And this way we can send email via radio just about anywhere. And Dan is going to initiate the contact at this time and going to go to K1DYO. Hello, Dan. Hello, and the message is being passed. And we can see this is, uh, we're using ICOM 706 Mark II GHF radios on uh, a low frequency of 3925 kilohertz. This is a signal link USB device. This is an enhanced sound card digital signal processor that allows us with very easy user created software to be able to send the email over radio to almost any station that can receive it. And the transmission is in progress at this point. You can see the indicator here as it transmits, gives us a level of how good a signal we're actually putting it out over the air. And with this system, we can actually send just about anyone who needs it, provided they have access either through another amateur radio operator or still have internet access, such as headquarters maybe in DC, FEMA, or any place else that needs it. And message is still being sent. And you can see we brought a lot of equipment here to the chapter today, kind of haphazardly constructed, but so we can actually print it up. So you can hear the sound. If it's signing off now, we're completing the email transaction. And then the other station will sign. The program actually has error correction, so it actually checks the signal and makes sure that it's getting the right data throughput and that ensures the accuracy of the message just like any other normal email system. And it's in the system right now. And we're in the test mode for Winmore. And hopefully we'll have it active to be used for real disasters or other operations in the near future. Thank you very much for watching.